Hi everyone, I'm retired meteorologist, sometimes backyard gardener, sometimes heavenly backyard astronomer, but today again it's all about the weather and some gardening issues as well because of the weather. I'm expecting a hard freeze for not only tonight, but tomorrow night as well, and maybe even a freeze for Friday night into Saturday morning in our region. Now, my daffodils, they're in full bloom right now, and they look great, and uh, it, it gives that impression of a false spring that has set up across our region. You know, the day is February 20th. We are four weeks away from the first day of spring on the calendar. Spring arrives this year on March 20th at 5.01 in the morning, Eastern Standard Time, actually Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, if we go to daylight time, we don't know yet. Anyway, um, there are the daffodils in bloom. How are the other garden uh, the plants going to be doing through this cold wave? We're going to take a look at that in a minute. But first of all, I want to take a look at the jet stream because that's been the issue across our region over the last several weeks across this uh, eastern portion of the country. It's that polar vortex that has been weakening and the weakening causes waves to develop and those waves uh, pushed down into the eastern portion of the United States and in and across our area. Actually, there's the polar vortex way up there in the north where it belongs, but it has weakened somewhat and a wave has come southward uh, into the middle portion of the country, all the way down into the southeast United States and then out into the Atlantic Ocean. And that is pushing very cold air across the eastern half of the country. And we've been seeing that with the cold temperatures and the snows across the Ohio River Valley into the Mid-Atlantic coastal states. Meanwhile, let's take a look at that satellite imagery right now. And then we can see the clouds from that rain system yesterday. I got about a quarter of an inch of rain out of it. Uh, it has moved off to the east. We're now seeing clearing skies. Over here, that's not clouds. That's snow on the ground. That's all that snow I've been talking about. There you can see it covering Missouri and Iowa over into Kansas, northeast Oklahoma, and the northern half of Arkansas even a large portion of Tennessee. There you can see the land between the lakes in Kentucky and into Tennessee. And even all of Kentucky under snow cover right now. And that extends into the east, but now we're seeing clouds uh, across that area because I can't really see the ground so much there. But here we got the clearing weather conditions here in uh, Georgia and eastern uh, southwestern portions of South Carolina. The clouds remain in eastern South Carolina. All right, let's move on to the conditions across the region. The, the, the forecast, basically the, the weather situation deals with temperatures for the next several nights. These are the low temperatures for tonight. And look at this, this purple area here, that's below zero Fahrenheit. Uh, in uh, all the way down into the Ozarks. Now we're going to be dropping down into the 20s here in the southeast United States and looking at a closer view of that. There you can see uh, upper teens and lower 20s in Georgia and South Carolina, even Alabama and uh, Mississippi, Louisiana, all in the 20s uh, and even teens for tonight into Saturday morning. Even down into the Gainesville, Florida area, temperatures right around that freezing mark there. Orlando only in the 40s uh, for the uh, uh, daybreak temperatures for tomorrow. Uh, meanwhile, let's take another look at our region here across Georgia and South Carolina. We're seeing those temperatures to expect to drop into the middle 20s across the central and eastern portions of the region into the low 20s off to the western portion of the region, even in the upper teens in the Atlanta metropolitan area. Even on the islands, Hilton Head Island, Tybee Island, St. Simons Island, temperatures to drop to below freezing, probably in the mid to upper 20s, all the way to the coast for tonight. Now, looking into tomorrow night, uh, into Friday morning, I expect to see another hard freeze for the area. Temperatures in the mid 20s in the Statesboro area, Augusta, Macon, uh, uh, elsewhere across the area, Brunswick, right around the 30, 32 degree mark. Uh, Savannah, it says 33, but I'm seeing some new indications. It might be more like 28 or 29 degrees for uh, uh, Saturday morning, uh, Friday night, Saturday morning. And then as we go into Saturday night, Sunday morning, it begins to warm up a little bit. Uh, temperatures uh, in the lower 40s to upper 30s, middle 30s in the Statesboro area. But remember, normal low for this time of the year is about 44 degrees. So even at 40 degrees, we're warming up to 40. That's still below the normal for this time of the year. And then going into the high temperatures on Sunday, 
<sighs> feels a little bit better. Temperatures in the middle 60s, low to middle 60s, with uh, fair to partly cloudy weather conditions for them. And then going into Monday, middle 60s. And then on uh, Tuesday, expect to see uh, those temperatures to warm into the 70s, lower 70s, but 70s. Nonetheless, normal high for this time of the year is 67. So by next week, we should start popping above the normal for this time of the year. So with that being said, these cold temperatures, let's go outside to the garden, see what I'm doing to protect my plants from this severe cold that's moving on in. Now here are some potato plants that I started last October, I think it was last October, and I lost half of them in that severe cold wave and snowstorm that we had back in the middle portion of January. But these here did survive and they're looking very good right now. However, they won't make it through tonight's 25 degrees here in the Heavenly Backyard Garden. So what I'm going to do is protect these potato plants here. I have these hoops that I have uh, over the uh, plants themselves because I'm going to cover them with sheets, but I don't want the sheets touching the leaves of the plants because that could cause the cold air to go right through the sheets into the leaves and burn the leaves. So what I'm going to do is take an old sheet, never sh throw away old sheets. They're always good for something. Drop cloths, uh, you can cut them up into rags and or use them for garden covers like I do here. And just put them over the hoops so they're not touching the leaves themselves. I'm gonna put this over here a little bit more like so. Now that will protect them to about 30 degrees, but it, I'm expecting 25 tonight in the Heavenly Backyard Garden. So I'm gonna put another cover, a heavy old comforter that I used to have, uh, well, I still have it. I didn't throw it away. And, but it, it was all rags, wearing out and so forth. Uh, but it's great for covering up the garden. Well, that's what I'm gonna do. Still a little wet from last night's rain. Anyway, I'm gonna put that over like so. Now this is giving me a really good protection, just like snuggling in under a couple blankets at night on a cold night. And that's all I need to do with these. However, one more thing, I got a few kettlebells that I used to be able to lift with this arm, but I can't anymore because I ripped the rotator cuff. Anyway, that goes there. Now the left arm, I can do that okay. That's fine. I used to use 35 pounds on this arm. Can't do that anymore. Anyway, there, that is not going to blow away. Now I'm gonna protect some other plants that I deem necessary to protect. There are other plants that can survive the cold. And uh, let's talk about those. All right, here are my Brussels sprout plants and they all laugh at the cold. They survived the ice and the snow and the freezing temperatures of January. You can see a picture that I had from last January with them under the three inches of sleet. Anyway, these plants are doing very well. In fact, they like cool, not cold, but they like cool weather. They don't like the heat, but uh, I don't plan to protect these tonight. They'll, they'll do just fine. They might not be happy, but they'll be fine. Also, over here, I have some broccoli plants I had uh, going since uh, last September, October. I've been cutting since around the... Uh, early December, late December, all through the month of January and going into February. I'm still cutting broccoli uh, shoots off these plants and have them for dinner for the two of us. All right, the broccoli plants, nope, they don't need it to be covered either. So they're gonna be just sitting out here in the cold during the night. Now I do have another garden that I started and this is my broccolini garden. And I, I don't know too much about these plants. Even though they are in the brassica family, uh, they probably will be okay, but I wanna make sure because I have 18 broccolini plants here and I want them to be protected. So I'm gonna cover them up uh, with these sheets over here that I have uh, saved sheets from the olden days and I'm gonna cover them up uh, to protect them from the cold. All right. Now the daylily garden, they're perennials and they can handle the cold. Again, they're not gonna like this cold wave but uh, they'll survive. The leaves might get burnt a little bit and set back uh, from where they are right now. They're looking very nice. Uh, very healthy growth coming up uh, with the 
day lilies over here. Now way in the back, I do have some calla lilies and they don't like it freezing. So I'm gonna cover those up with those sheets and an old beat up comforter that I have uh, that will protect them from the freeze for tonight and tomorrow night. So over here, I'm building a new raised bed, and this is going to be for my tomato plants, which I won't plant until after St. Patrick's Day. I'm planting a bush variety type tomato plant uh, in this raised bed here. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna have a video coming up in my Heavenly Backyard Garden video, uh, coming up shortly about how I built the raised beds and uh, how I fill the raised beds and other gardening tips. That'll be coming up within the next couple of days, hopefully. So stay tuned for views from the Heavenly Backyard Garden. So with that being said, let's, let's go back inside where it's warmer. All right, back inside where it's warmer. Expect to see fair to partly cloudy weather conditions and cold temperatures for the next several days, but warming up, as we just saw, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday back into the 70s. But will it last? You know, next week is the last full week in February and March 1st is next a week from Saturday coming up so um, the next six weeks expect to see temperatures still slightly below normal for that first full week in March but then rising to around normal by the uh, first uh, to second week in March and then going into the St. Patrick's Day time frame, March 17th, this year, Monday, March 17th, uh, temperatures will be slightly above normal. Normal high by then is 71, 48 uh, is normal low. And hopefully this trend will continue that the uh, uh, extended outlook is expected to see temperatures riding above or around the normal temperatures for the rest of the month of March. Okay, well, hopefully with that, thanks for all those who have been uh, supporting my page. By the way, if you like to receive emails uh, about the weather conditions and uh, on uh, my um, weather videos, I have a place where you can sign up. I take your email address only and I give it out to no one. I don't want to know your name. Uh, all I want is your email address. If you would like to receive weather videos, weather information, astronomy uh, information about astronomy videos and about garden videos. I got a garden video coming up as I just mentioned outside. Uh, that'll be coming up shortly, I hope. And uh, if you'd like to see receive notifications on when these videos are available or uh, information about the weather, uh, go ahead and sign up for this. Uh, just click on the uh, uh, link right here on my page, join my email list, or look at the description area below, and I'll have a comment. The top comment will have it in the comment section below, ways you can uh, get to this uh, email sign-up list if you would like to receive these emails. All right, with that being said, stay warm. It's going to be a three-cat night tonight, I think, <laughs> with the temperatures dropping down into the 20s. All right, see you later. Bye.